Hi, I have a little bit of an update with my situation with my problems with Delta Dental and my crowns. And just in case you haven't seen any of my other videos, I will try to quickly do a summary of the situation. Two and a half years ago, I was told I needed six crowns. And Delta Dental, my insurance company, has been refusing to pay. My need for crowns is because of erosion of my teeth due to heartburn. And they say they don't cover crowns due to heartburn, only they, they cover crowns due to decay, but not due to um, erosion. So I've been refused um, Delta Dental to help pay for my crowns. I've done all the um, appeals that I can do, the grievances, the claims. Um, I've written letters to Delta Dental. I've involved the Better Business Bureau, the Department of Commerce, and the Attorney General, and everything went in the wrong direction. Um, nobody is able to do anything to help me. The only thing I can le there, there is left to do that I could maybe do is write a letter to my con congressperson or hire a private lawyer, which I'm not hiring a private lawyer. And I might write a letter to the congressperson, but I'm not doing that right now. So anyway, everything's come to the end of the road as far as recourse, being able to do anything about this. Um, another thing that happened is two of the crowns couldn't wait any longer. I had two of them done, done in September because I had to. At that point, I paid $660 because the clinic said that if my insurance company did pay, they'd only pay half. So then I had to make three even payments of my portion. So I was supposed to pay three even payments of 666 or 6, 660. Um, so I did make the one payment and then to my surprise, I got an email from Delta Dental in October saying, you have a new statement, um, log in and see the statement. And the statement said that they paid my balance. And this is what I'm showing you here. Two crowns I had done in September. And this is what the dentist was asking for. $2,796. Delta Dental said that they'd be willing to pay, that the accepted fee is $2,431.60. So apparently they thought that the submitted fee was too much. Um, and then it says Delta Dental pays $1,000. $865.28 and then it says underneath that Delta Dental Pays is the dollar amount paid by your dental plan. So this basically says that they paid the balance because 660, 660 plus $1,865.28 equals $2,431.60. So basically I was supposed to have been paid off, paid in full. It says your cost is zero. I was thrilled. I did a snip of this. But then in November, I got a bill from the dental clinic saying that they didn't get paid. And then I called the insurance company and they said, no, they didn't pay. And I said, you guys sent me a statement saying that you paid. So basically started another battle. I sent them the snip. The one lady said that she would file another grievance and try to get the payment back. Um, six weeks later, I got a thing saying that you've exhausted all your appeals. You've exhausted all your grievances. We're not paying for it. Blah, blah, blah. So now everything has come to the end. Everything has not been found in my favor. I've been trying to get a hold of this guy. I've been working with at Park Dental Ridges. His name is Jake. And I tried calling him four times in the past three days. Um, I called this afternoon and they said he had left for the day. And I asked, um, what are you being tomorrow? And they said, well, today was his last day. That he's no longer working there. So now they're giving my case to the interim manager on Monday. Um, so basically I'm buying myself a little bit more time, but I'm 99% sure I'm going to end up having to pay this $2,000. Um, I did ask about, um, specifics of how they bill their crowns and the lady that answered my, the phone didn't really know much about it. And I told her, is there anyone that I can talk to? Because there's a thing that's called, um, network savings. In the clinic I go to, it's $141 per crown discount for network savings. The rest of the clinics in the area, it's $566 per crown for network savings. For four crowns, that adds up to $1,700.
which I'm not going to pay that big of a difference just to go to my clinic. I've been going to the clinic for 19 years. The dentist is good. The, the hygienists are good. None of this is their fault, but I'm not going to pay $1,700 extra. So I told the lady, is there anyone I can talk to about the specifics about the, you know, the network savings and stuff like that? Because I looked it up on Delta Dental's website for their cost estimator, and that's what I got. And she said, well, actually, that information is confidential. So that kind of, um, that really actually did irritate me because they told me I needed these crowns. And I'm asking for details as to how they're billing me and why they're billing a certain way and why they're charging a certain amount when I'm having to pay completely out of pocket without any help. And they're char they end up, their cost is more. And she told me that that was confidential. Well, I'm the patient, so to me, it shouldn't. It, I should be able to get the details about that if I'm paying the bill and I'm having the service done. I mean, it should be confidential between the patient, the clinic, and the insurance company, not withholding information from the patient. And that really did irritate me, but I decided to choose my battles and not get into some kind of an argument with this lady on the phone because what I decided that I would do is next time I go in, I'm going to say I want an estimate for those four crowns that I still need to do. And I can see maybe there's details on their estimate or maybe at least I can get a bottom line of the price. And then I would choose another clinic or two in my area. I would call around and see any of them would accept a new patient just for crowns. And then if I could find one that would take me, then I could ask, you know, another clinic or two for an estimate. And if it's significantly cheaper, I would go there for the crowns. So I did tell the lady on the phone, I said, well, you know, I really don't want to pay $1,700 extra to get my crowns done at your clinic when other clinics are $1,700 less. So I might end up going somewhere else for my other four crowns. And she said, oh, well, that's understandable. So that's that's where we've left it. Um, it's that really sucked for me. And I have a new irritation to deal with now because I really don't think that she should have told me that it was confidential and that she wouldn't give me details about it. Um, so, yeah, I am not happy with my situation. And I just feel like there's not really anything else I can do, but I'm not going to give them my business from my other four crowns if they're going to overcharge if I'm going to get charged that much more to go there. So that's about the only thing that's in my control over the situation is I can take my business elsewhere from my other four crowns that I still need if I can get a clinic that is going to charge significantly less. So um, yeah, that's it for today. And if anybody else has any kind of Situation similar um, with very big dental bills, medical bills, whatever, and kind of frustrations like this. If anybody's been in a similar situation and they have anything to say, feel free. Um, I would take anybody's advice at this point to try and help myself in this situation. And um, that is it. I'll let, let you know if I have any more updates. Bye.